So for this one, we have the exact opposite of what we did with the um, ankle E versions, except this time it's kind of tough to use this for that because you have to anchor it to something else in order to get inversion. So anchor the band to something low to the floor, like a sofa, a bed leg, whatever you've got. Wrap it twice around your foot like this. A little closer to the toes because that way it won't slip down. Find the right tension. Make sure that the object that you've anchored it to doesn't move. You can keep your leg straight, you can do whatever, but I'm just gonna do this because it feels more natural. So create the right amount of resistance. There's lots of tension in the band here. It's hard for me to hold it. If I just let go, I'm just gonna do that. So hold it like this from here. I would say keep your leg a little straighter because it's easier to swipe in. Swipe. Now try to keep it local in the ankle by holding your upper thigh. It's very easy to use the hip. In the beginning, I was using my hip quite a bit. Now my knee is fixed and it's not moving. Pull it in into inversion. Slowly let the band win. Slowly, 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 slowly. And even though I've done this one before, I sort of have to figure it out every time I do it. And notice how inversion is a lot more limited than eversion. That's fine, it's just how the ankle is designed. The ankle has a lot more eversion and external rotation contrary to inversion or compared to inversion. Okay, see I'm kind of shaking on the way out. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you.